you know, dear people of the court, I come to you today and stand before you, stand before you to address the court of my apologies, not only to you, but to my family and everyone, anyone affected by this tragedy. My father was a great man and was there for, for me time and time again when I had problems in school with the law, especially with my personal problems in my social life. He was there getting me enrolled at Eaton Academy to get me into a learning environment that, was, that assisted me with my learning disabilities. He was there when I caught my MIP after MIP and possession here and there, and finally intervened and came, came to court and asked for my leniency to send me to Brighton Rehabilitation Center and try to help me take control of my substance abuse issues. My mom was there every step of the way, carpooling me and friends to Eaton, drove me to rehab, and even went to al meetings to get familiar with how to approach and handle someone with my type of substance abuse issues. My mom is an amazing mom and did anything she could to help me all throughout my life. With my depression driving me to counseling once a week, which she did since I was in second grade, most of which were in Ann Arbor, not a short drive. She went even further to take me to a doctor for medication to help me with my depression, ADHD, and mood swings, which I also took since I was in second grade. My family has done a great deal for me and my siblings, which I will never be able to thank enough. I want my dad back, and so does Belly, my mom. Tanner and Salvatore. Not only them, but everyone who got the chance to meet him. He taught me to hold my head up and be strong and be responsible, be responsible. and that includes taking responsibility for my actions, thus suffering the consequences. He told me to be an older brother in a room. And a role model to my younger siblings, and I may, I may not have stopped drinking. I may not have made responsible decisions, some of which I will never recover from, or regain, or regain what I lost. I might have been an irresponsible and may have been an unpleasant older brother, but Tanner, Sal, and Belly, I love you guys with all my heart, Mom. You remember when the teachers had to detach us from you to be able to leave on my first day, first grade, but wouldn't let you go? Well, Mom, I wish I would have never let go. Dad, a lot of people miss you down here. I love you, and I hope for what it's worth. I did what you would have wanted me to do and protected Belly and my family as much as I could. Dad, I'm here taking responsibility for my part, holding up my head as best I can. To everyone else, I'm sorry for paving the way for such violence and being a direct cause for such immense pain in so many people's past, present, and future. So like I said, for what it's worth, for anyone affected, let's come together, help each other and my family Mend and heal. Let's move on and try and enjoy the small things, a family, a family dinner, a movie with friends, smiles and laughter. I stand before the people of the court, the community, my family and friends, but most importantly, God asking for forgiveness and confessing my sins and taking responsibility for my actions. This is my act of contrition. I speak on behalf of my family. We love you, Dad. Thank you for your time, patience, people of the court, and anyone who cared to listen. Much love, Tucker, Cip Tucker Robert Cipriano. Well, first of all, words can obviously um, not express the sorrow I have for the Cipriano family and what they have gone through and will continue to go through for the rest of their lives. Uh, Mr. Cipriano, the only thing I can say to you is I'm sure you feel that you were dealt Unlike most people in this world, and I'm willing to say, you were given the gift of a wonderful family, a loving family, a supportive family. They did everything in their power to help you, but you just weren't willing to help yourself. You always
always wanted to take the easy way. He didn't want to do the hard work that life requires. And there are plenty of people in this world that have been dealt a very more difficult hand, much more difficult hand than you were dealt, and did the hard work. And you didn't want to do the hard. You just wanted to do the easy. And I really think that's what happened here. I really do. People with more challenges than you that fight through and stand up. They're strong people, and they get to live good and positive life. life. And with all the support you had, all the love you had, you just throw it away because you didn't want to face the challenges, and you didn't want to be the stronger, bigger person. And, and, and you had the ability. You did. And you had the support. And you just didn't do the work. And that's really what happened here. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say that. You ruined your life. You ruined lives of people who did nothing but love you. And that is the saddest part of it all. I'll read a sentence of this court. I'm count two. Life without parole. 464 days jail credit. Premick is right to give $130. Premick needs to be determined. State costs $68. You must comply with DNA testing. There is no contact or association with the co defendant Mitchell Young. You do have the right to support appeals for you to appeal. Your attorney is going to hand your public rights form. If you want an attorney appointed for your appeal, you must turn the form of this court in 40 days and today's date. Yes, Your Honor. I'm not just seeing the public rights form on the answer. I'm just seeing the record should reflect that I provided my copy. Thank you. Anything else for the record? Nothing, thank you. Nothing, thank you. All rise.